Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For today's video, we will talk about the slope of a line. The term slope refers to the measure of the steepness of a line. Some real-life applications of slope include building roads. One must figure out how steep a road will be in order to judge the speed and the dangers ahead. Take note that a higher slope value indicates a steeper incline. Another application is when building stairs. One must consider the slope of them so they are not too steep to walk on. Yes, we do like Toblerone, but we don't want to have a Toblerone-inspired stairs like this. Other applications can be seen in house roofs, wheelchair ramps, and others. Now, in mathematics, we say that slope is rise over run. It is denoted by the lower case m. It is the ratio of the change in the vertical distance, delta y, and to the change in horizontal distance, delta x. Let us assume these two points. P sub 1 with coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1, and P sub 2 with coordinate of x sub 2, y sub 2. To know the vertical distance, delta y, we will subtract y sub 2 by y sub 1. Meanwhile, for horizontal distance, we will subtract x sub 2 by x sub 1. Thus, the slope of a line formula is given by m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. To better understand this, let's have the following items. Example number 1, find the slope of a line that passes through the points negative 3, 1 and negative 1, positive 5. Then draw the graph of the line. Here we will first designate values which is for sub 1 and sub 2. Typically, we assign sub 1 to the first coordinate stated in the problem. Here that is the point negative 3, positive 1. This means that our x sub 1 is negative 3 and y sub 1 is positive 1. For the second coordinate, negative 1, positive 5, we will assign negative 1 as x sub 2 and positive 5 as y sub 2. Now using the slope formula, m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, substituting the values, it will be m equals 5 minus 1 all over negative 1 minus negative 3. In the numerator, 5 minus 1 is equal to positive 4. Then negative of negative 3, that will become positive 3. Negative 1 plus 3, the sum is positive 2. Simplifying 4 over 2, that is equal to positive 2. Hence, the slope of the line is positive 2. Illustrating the graph of the line, we will first plot the points negative 3, positive 1 and negative 1, positive 5 in the Cartesian plane. Connecting these points, we will have this graph. To check if the slope is really positive 2, we will go back to our earlier definition that the slope is rise over run. This means that for every two movements upward, there should be one corresponding movement going to the right. Since that is manifested in this graph, the slope is really positive 2. Another thing that you have to take note is that when the slope is positive, the graph of the line is pointing upward as it moves to the right. This indicates an increasing trend. For our second example, determine the slope of a line that passes through the origin and the point negative 2, positive 5. Also, draw the graph of this line. Just like in the previous example, we first need to assign values for sub 1 and sub 2. Here, the question stated first the origin and we know that the origin has the coordinate 0, 0. So, x sub 1 here will be 0, and y sub 1 is also 0. For the second point coordinate, negative 2, positive 5, here x sub 2 will be negative 2, and y sub 2 will be positive 5. 
substituting these values in the slope formula, it will be 5 minus 0 all over negative 2 minus 0. Hence, the slope of the line is negative 5 over 2. Illustrating the graph of the line, here we will plot the points 0, 0 or the origin and the point negative 2, positive 5. Connecting the two points, the graph would look like this. For the origin, we move 5 units upward, then 2 units to the left since the value is negative 2. Now observe that when the slope is negative, the graph of the line is pointing downward as it moves to the right. This indicates decreasing trend. For our third example, find the slope of a line that passes through the x-intercept negative 4 and point 3,0. For this item, we first need to identify the coordinate of x-intercept negative 4. Recall that x-intercept is the value of x or abscissa when y is equal to 0. So writing its coordinate, it is negative 4, 0. These values will be for our x sub 1 and y sub 1. For the second point coordinate, positive 3, 0. Here x sub 2 will be positive 3 and y sub 2 is 0. Substituting these values in our formula, we will have 0 minus 0 all over 3 minus negative 4. When simplified, it is equal to 0 over 7. Recall that when the numerator of a fraction is equal to 0 and the denominator is any integer aside from 0, the value of the fraction will be 0. Thus, the slope of the line is equal to 0. Illustrating this line in the Cartesian plane, here we will first plot the points negative 4, 0, the x-intercept, and the point positive 3, 0. Observe that the line formed is a horizontal line, which does not have any steepness. Hence, when the slope is 0, the line is horizontal. Moreover, the trend is neither increasing nor decreasing. For our last example, determine the slope of a line that passes through the points negative 1, 7 and negative 1, negative 2. Also draw the graph of this line. Here we will just repeat the procedure similar to example number 1. We will assign values for sub 1 and sub 2. Since the first coordinate is negative 1, positive 7, we will designate x sub 1 to negative 1 and positive 7 to y sub 1. For the second coordinate, negative 1, negative 2, x sub 2 will be negative 1 and y sub 2 is negative 2. Supplying these values in the slope formula, m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, this will be equal to negative 2 minus 7 all over negative 1 minus negative 1. Performing the operations, this will be equal to negative 9 over 0. Now take note that when the value of the denominator of a fraction is 0, the fraction is undefined. Hence, the slope of the line is undefined. Graphing the line in the Cartesian plane, that would look like this. A vertical line. Thus, when the slope is undefined, the graph of the line is vertical and the trend is not defined. Here is the summary of the lesson about slope of the line. So it is basically the change in y over the change in x or rise over run. The formula that we use to determine the slope of a line is given by m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. The graph of a line may appear in four different forms. A diagonal line that increases as it moves towards the right, there the slope is positive. A diagonal line that decreases as it moves towards the right, 
there the slope is negative, a horizontal line whose slope is zero, and a vertical line which has a slope of undefined. Thank you for watching. God bless.